Getting ready to plant potatoes. And last year I showed you one method, the way that I do this, where you basically just keep taking the tiller over the ground where you're gonna plant your potatoes. Then you use a garden rake to rake the soil out. Then you take the tiller over and each time you're going about six to eight inches deeper, you're basically digging a furrow down through there you put your potatoes in the bottom of it, you cover them up lightly with one or two inches of soil above it. And then as they grow, you backfill it. So that works really well. But I've actually had a uh, furrower for some time, hiller furrower, for quite a while. Um, I didn't use it last year because to be honest with you, post-cancer, I forgot I even owned it. <laughs> um, but this is actually made for an earthquake tiller, but this is a yard max and it does fit. You basically, the stake that's made for it doesn't come up far enough to get to this second stake. This is a door hinge pin and it fits in there and holds it in place just fine. So let me show you how this does and you'll kind of get an idea whether or not you will need a furrow or hiller, they're useful for lots of things besides this. Not only that, it's adjustable, and I got it kind of set right now to kind of dig, dig like a trench, but you can make it uh, where it hills up the rows on the outer part of it here, which is what a lot of people use them for. And I'm actually using it for the point side of it to dig a trench. But it's also going to create a hill or a furrow down through there, a trench. And I'll get this camera set up and show you. And I'll leave a link down in the description to my Amazon affiliate account if you need one of these. It actually fits five or six different models of tillers. And I'll put them down in the description too. Because if you go and look it up, it only says earthquake, but they, it literally fits Cub Cadet, Yard Max, Troy Built. Um, there's a bunch that it fits. So let me go ahead and get this started and we'll get going. Now let me show you what this does. I'm not sure if that's gonna show up very well on camera though. I don't know like what angle. That digs about 12 inches deep. A straight line, 12 inches, well it's not quite straight. <laughs> I'm, not very, I'm not very straight today. But it digs a trench. Now that's useful for two things. You can plant your potatoes in this trench or the other reason why people use it is to mound, you create mounds. So you go down through here and it creates, it builds up a hill on this side, builds up a hill on that side. Then you space it out to where when you go down again, you build up another hill. So it's like the hill here gets pushed over on top of this hill, that creates a furrow. So you can use it this way to like dig in potatoes, which is what I'm gonna use it for and i'm gonna make a couple passes or you can use it to create furrows or or mounds or hills so really handy tool to have for a tiller makes it very simple um, the one thing you got to keep in mind though when you're doing that is your spacing of your rows that use this technique for instance if i'm do, doing this trench i have to be at least a tiller width before I can do the next trench because you gotta be able to, to maintain these trenches 
or you got to be able to maintain the furrows so you got to have room for the tiller to get through there and as you can see if i was doing furrows i would start probably my other row so that the edge of the tire is about right here and that would push this up that way so you just kind of kind of play around with it till you get it right but it's pretty simple to use these were very popular back in the 50s 60s and 70s and they just kind of got like out of the way like people just stopped using them uh, about the time everybody stopped gardening until the pandemic right but uh us old folks we remember this stuff but a furrower hiller great addition to any tiller get you one i'll leave a link down in the description thanks for watching as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads